it is yet another time to experience the power of God as Apostle Joshua Selman ministers. Get ready for an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. By the way, I think I should do a tribute to the Father. So all men, once you are from 18 years and above, stand up. 18 years and above. If you are not sure how old you are, sit down. Hallelujah. 18 years and above, stand up. You have any adult sitting down except if he's sick. If not, ask the person, obedience is how people become men and women of stature. Um, I have taught extensively on fatherhood particularly, but let me say this. A father is beyond a man with a wife. A father is beyond a man who can have children or has had children. No. There are many married men who are not fathers. There are many procreators of children who are not fathers. The Hebrew word for father is the word Abba. The Greek is the word Pata. And both of them mean a source, sustainer, protector, defender. In the very definition of fatherhood are the qualities of a true father. Lend me your attention for one minute. There are four major assignments of fathers according to scripture. Number one is the ability to provide first for your household. Please listen. First for your household. It matters the order of priority. The ability to provide first for your household and then it extends to as many who are under your care. Number two, the ability to protect. The ability to protect is the second definition of fatherhood. Number three, the ability to mentor and create growth. There is no true father without mentorship and growth. Fathers have the mandate under God to mentor and to allow for growth. Number four, the fourth assignment of fatherhood is to create structures for continuity and succession. Continuity. Anything that dies with the father has stopped the man from being a true father. The proof that you are a father is that those who come after you must become extensions of your legacy. Are we together? Yes. It should never start and end with you except if it is evil. But if it is good, a good man, the Bible says, lays up an inheritance. You may want to listen to my message, Redefining Inheritance. So my tribute to every father, I want to start by appreciating every man, every father who has done all this, or at least most of this. Responsible man who has provided for his household protected his household, methodically mentored all within his care, and is about creating a system of godliness, responsibility, wealth that makes for succession even when you are not here, if Christ tarries. My salutations and my commendations to such because they are fathers indeed. But let me also encourage someone by my definition now, you may find out that you've fallen short of God's definition of fatherhood. I still salute your courage, the willingness to retrace your step and to start afresh. The beautiful thing about the gift of time is that it gives you opportunity to start again. Perhaps there's some father standing here and whilst you are standing, you are really feeling guilty because you have not done justice in providing for your home, even if you've prayed in tongues. You've not done justice in protecting your wife and children, protecting them emotionally, spiritually. You have created a tense atmosphere and your children dread growing in that atmosphere. You can change, men can change. There's nothing embarrassing about the need for change. We all have had to change to become this way and we will have to change to become the higher versions of ourselves. So while commending those who have done well indeed, 
fathers by this definition let me propose to many who have fallen short of this definition to protect to provide to mentor and to create a system for succession you have the gift of life you have the gift of a sound mind use it and begin to retrace your step within the time you have but it's my prayer particularly for the men in this house that we will be noble men indeed that god will help us to redefine fatherhood if you believe that say amen, amen. father we thank you for every father every man in this place and extending this prayer to the body of christ to as many who are connecting in the name of jesus cause us all to be noble men by every definition of nobility, we obtain the grace to be able to provide. We obtain the grace to be able to protect. We obtain the grace to be able to grow and mentor those you have put within our care. And we obtain grace to be secured enough to raise other people who become extensions of our legacy. We obtain this grace as we make commitments to remain fathers and men with nobility and excellence. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and please be seated. Joshua Nimak. Selman was born 25th of June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. Also known as Apostle Joshua Selman is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He is the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI. The ENI have a program, Koinonia, a gospel fellowship held weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, as well as in Abuja, Nigeria. Joshua Nimak Selman was born 25 June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. All contents on this channel are for the sole purpose of educating, informing, and transforming people for the betterment of mankind and the glory of God. Please, if you find our contents helpful, then subscribe to our channel and smash the like button. God bless you and see you in our next video.